everybody. Happy Friday. My name is Myra and I've got another Tabata style workout for you today. So that means 20 seconds on, 10 second breaks. Um, we've got eight different sets of exercises to do. We'll go through each one four times. So before we get started, I've got some music on just so I'm not listening to myself breathe. It's probably not loud enough for you to hear. So if you want to turn on your own music, do that. Um, grab a towel, some water, and then a couple of really light weights. So I've got two and a half pound plates. Um, you can also do this with just body weight, so don't sweat it if you don't have weights. Ha, huh, sweat it, get it. Um, and then also, if you don't have weights and you wanna use weights, you can grab something like two cans of soup or um, anything that's equal weights and very light. So um, when you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Set your watch if you've got one, turn your music on, and we're gonna start um, with a light warm up. Starting in two, one, just jump rope. Right here, nice and easy. Shake the arms out, just kind of getting things loosened up. If starting off with jump ropes is already too much, I feel you just step side to side. We're just getting the body warmed up and moving. This is the first time I have really moved today, so everything's a little stiff. Five more seconds, four, three, two, bring the heels up a little bit higher, but good. And again, if you're not feeling the jumping yet, you're just right here, stepping side to side, bringing your heels to your butt. So trying to get that stretch through the front of the thighs, through the quads, but it does not have to be jumping. Five more seconds. We're gonna move to, let's see. Oh, in and out jacks, here we go. Out. And in. You can be here. Here. Just warming up through the shoulders more than anything. Still warming up through the legs. 15 seconds. 10 to go. Last five. Four, three, two. Bring it down. Just gonna hinge at the hips. Walk it out to a plank. Oh, back up. Everything's creaky and groany right now. You can also come down and come to knees and walk it out. Trying to get the hamstrings warmed up. Last three, two, bring it up and we're back to the jump rope. So if you started off with the walking jump rope, you could amp it up a little bit this time. Two feet, one foot, doesn't matter. Shake the arms out. Just a quick four minute warm up. 15 seconds to go. Then we'll get started. 10 seconds. So the last five, four, three, two. Keep the arms down, you can keep shaping if you want, and we're gonna bring the heels to your butt. If you'd rather bring the knees up, you can do that. Still just a light warm up. I promise we'll get our workout in with the rest of what I've got planned, so don't feel like you need to go crazy in the warm up. 10 seconds to go. Last five, three, Two in and out jacks. Remember, you can be right here or you can jump it. Warming up through the shoulders. Get my lights here. Fifteen. And last ten. We're going to walk out for those inchworms and then we're going to get started with the workout. Five, four, Three, two, bring it down, hinging at the hips, walking it up. So this is warming up through the core, walking out to the plank, warming up through the shoulders, and then giving a nice stretch through the hamstrings. Let's walk out one more time, and then we'll call it good for the warm up. Bring it on up. Okay. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm going to reset our timer here for 2010. So, 
the first two exercises that we have um, is it's like a jump back. So if you're familiar with squat thrusts, it's a jump back. Okay, this, and we're going to add a side um, side plank to it. So you're going to start in a plank, jump here, side plank, jump here, other side. Okay, so that's our first one, and then the second one, our side plank hip dips. So as you guys know, I'm a delicate flower. I'm gonna bring my mat here so that I can have something for my elbow. Side plank, hip dips. And this one, you can have your bottom leg down. You'll work your outer hip and you're still gonna hit the obliques. So no worries if you wanna have that hip down. All right, when you're ready, I'm gonna start the timer. We're gonna start with the um, squat thrust to the side plank in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, here we go. So you're starting in a plank, jump, and then side. Jump, other side. And on this one, you can step and pivot. You can also be on knees and just pivot side to side. Okay? Three, two, one, bring it up. Actually stay down. <laughs> And we're going to do those side plank hip dips. Let's start on our left side. So left elbow's down. Two, one. Here we go. Down and up. If you need a little bit more right here, you're grabbing onto your weights or soup cans, and you're putting those on your right hip. Ten seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten second break. So that's one round of two exercises. We're gonna do three more rounds for four total. So when you're ready, come back to your plank. Two, one, here we go. Jump, side plank. Jump, side plank. You can be stepping. You can have knees down. Five seconds. Three, two, one, stay down. Take a quick break. And we're going to come to our right elbow this time. Starting in two, one, here you go, dips. Remember, your right knee can be down if you need it to be. 10 seconds to go. Last five, four, three, two, one, break. Halfway through the first round, two more sets of each. I'm going to turn this way this time and go. Just in case you wanted to see this from a different angle, you can be stepping halfway. You can jump. So the beauty of Tabata is it's only 20 seconds at a time. So you might be able to push yourself a little bit harder. Two, one, come down. And go back to the left elbow. Starting in three, two, one, go. That thing about Tabata is that that 10 seconds of a break goes really fast. All right, halfway, 10 to go. Pushing up and away, rounding through the left side of your body, five seconds. Three, two, one, come on down. We've got one more of each. <clears throat> We're gonna start in three, two, one. Here we go, jump and side plank. Try and keep your hips low. From that plank, you're gonna wanna creep up when you jump back. Engage through your core. Drop to a knee if you need to, five seconds. Three, two, one, break. Um, we are back to the right elbow, and this is our last set of these, and then we're already done with the first station. And go. Top foot can be in front or stacked. Exhale as you push up, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. First station's done. You get a minute break. If you're sweaty, towel, if you need a drink, grab a drink. 
I'm going to show you what the next round of stuff is. So we've got walking squats, and those look like this. You're going to stay low in a squat here. You're going to go heel toe, trying to keep your um, chest lifted, and then toe heel on the way back. So you're just going forward and back, nice big steps, squat and walking. This is good for your glutes, um, quads, core, even as long as you keep your chest up and your core engaged, you'll feel it once we get going. Um, and then overhead press jacks, those involve weights. So if you have your weights, we're jacking and overhead pressing, okay? You don't have to use weights. It's completely up to you. We're gonna start here in five seconds. Four, three, come to a squat, two, one, and you're coming forward. So the knees here are pressing out over your toes. These are also called duck walks. Um, I've heard them called monster walks. So these have a lot of different names. Remember your toe healing on the way back. Keep your weight, heel toe on the way forward and stay as low as you can. Two, one, bring it up. Grab your weights or not. Either jumping jacks or overhead press jacks or you're stepping, ready, go, 20 seconds. So I'm gonna start off strong, as it's easy to do in the first round. If you need to modify as we go on, feel free to do that, 10 seconds. Remember you could be stepping, five, four, three, two, one. One round done, three to go. Weights are down, back to the squat walk. In three, sink down low, two, one. Chest is lifted, but your butt is pushing back. If you have a band at home that you wanna wrap around above your knees, that adds resistance. If you want a little bit more, especially in the glutes, you can add that. Five seconds, three, two, one. Come on up, squat jacks. Starting in three, two, one, here we go. So if this is too much, remember you're stepping and pressing, or you can just drop your weight and do this um, with just your arm resistance. So really pressing up strong and bringing it down strong. Five seconds, three, two, one, bring it down. Halfway through this round, back to the monster walks. So two more sets of each. Starting in three, two, sink down, walk forward, heel toe, knees are wide. Really put your weight in your heel and sink your butt way back. Try and keep your shins as close to parallel as you can to feel it more in the glutes. If you feel it more in your quads, that's completely fine also. Two, one, bring it up. We're gonna start squat jumps, oops, sorry, overhead press jacks in two, one. That was just a mean trick. No squat jumps today, I don't think. 10 seconds to go. Each set of exercises has a strength and a cardio. So here's your cardio in three, two, one. Bring it down. Back to the walking squats. This is our last set of each thing. So if you can sink down a little bit lower, two, one, try that. If you need to come up a little bit higher to keep moving, come up a little bit higher. You can also hold a weight right here if these are not enough for you. Seven seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on up. Ooh, legs are burning. We're gonna hit core after this in three, two, one, go. For our next round of exercises, got some core work coming. So our legs will get a break. We're almost there, halfway, 10 seconds. Overhead press is nice and strong. Last five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. One minute break. Nice job, okay. First set of cardio exercise um, is going to be crossbody mountain climbers. So we know mountain climbers here. Crossbody means opposite knee to opposite elbow. 
left elbow to right knee, vice versa. Don't have the best angle to show you this, but that's the gist. You can also just come nice and slow. You can be on knees and just hang out in a low plank. Okay, um, so that is crossbody mountain climbers. Um, I take that back, don't do a low plank. Come to the wall if you need to, and you can do it on the wall. So if being down on the floor is too much, come to the wall and try it there. And then um, we've got a plank, bringing knee to elbow. Same knee, same elbow, nice and slow. So same type of work. Um, it's really gonna burn out our core. We're gonna start here in three, two, crossbody mountain climbers, go. So this is your cardio. Remember, you can be on the wall. You can slow it down, okay? Five seconds, four, three, two, one, bring it down. Um, you can be on your elbows for this. I'm gonna choose to be on my hands. Starting in two, come to a plank, one, exhale, knee to elbow. Nice and slow, exhale, knee to elbow. So really feel this in your core. Keep your butt down. And if you need to, you're coming to knees. If you're on your knees, come down to your elbows. Bring it in or just hold, okay? Take a break. I guess I don't know why I'm getting up. We're gonna stay down. Back to crossbody mountain climbers. In three, two, one, here we go. Your gaze is right down between your hands so that your neck stays nice and long. 10 seconds. Come to a wall if you need to. Last five. Three, two, one. Stay where you are. Woo, core work. Back to a plank. In three, two, one. Exhale, knee to elbow. It doesn't have to touch your elbow. We're just crunching it up and out to the side. Five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one more. Sit back. We're halfway through this round. We've got one more of each. I'm sorry, two more of each. That was mean. Starting in three, two, crossbody mountain climbers. Here we go. You can slow it down. You can come to a wall. 10 seconds. Good for the triceps, shoulders, as well as the core. Three, two, one, bring it down. We've got no dips today. We definitely have extra in the plank category to work our triceps. Starting in two, one, knee to elbow, plank, here we go. This can also be done on a wall, okay? And you're just bringing your knee up, nice and slow. Exhale as you contract through your core. Three, two, one, stay down. One more of each. Cross body mountain climbers to start. In three, two, one, here we go. Ten seconds. Last five. Three, two, one, bring it down. One more set with knee to elbow, and we're moving on. Starting in three, two, one, here we go. Knee to elbow, exhale. Dig your fingertips down to the floor. Exhale as you bring that knee forward. Five seconds. One more here. Good, walk the hands up or the feet back. Feet up either way. Woo, all right. Our next one. It's not my favorite, but we have lots of options. Star jumps. Star jumps start off with feet together and a low squat. You're gonna come up, make a star, and come back down. You can be here, just like we were in the jumping jacks. Okay, you do not have to jump. 
you can come to regular jumping jacks. If you're somewhere between a star jump and a step out, just do regular jumping jacks. If you want to try the star jump, put it too much for 20 seconds, give me a star jump and then a squat. Star jump, come up, okay? So mix in a squat with the star jump. Um, and then the walking lunges. Big step forward, walk, lunge, come to one half of the room, and we're gonna reverse lunge. No, we're not, we're gonna turn around and walk back. Okay, we're gonna start, oh shoot, in three, two, one, star jumps, here we go. They look like this, and you've been given all your options. Woo! 10 seconds to go. Weight comes into your heels. Five, four, three, two, come on up. Start off where you have some space to walk. Big step forward, walking lunges. In three, chest stays lifted. Two, one, big step forward, chest is lifted. I'm gonna take three steps forward. That might take me off camera, but you don't need to watch me. You know how to do walking lunges. If you need a little bit more here, Grab your weights, add those in your hands, or here, five seconds. Three, two, bring it on up. All right, one set down, three to go. Back to the star jumps. We're gonna start in three, two, one, here we go. Up and down. You can bring your arms all the way up, you can bring them out to the side. 10 seconds. Five to go. Four, three, two, come on up. Walking lunges. I'm gonna go side to side here this time so that you can watch my front knee stay directly over my ankle, starting in two, one, right here. So what you don't want is this, where the knee goes forward of the ankle. You wanna take a big step forward, keep the chest lifted, keep that front knee stacked. Running out of room. Long leg problems. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Come on up. All right, you guys, halfway through this round. Ugh, star jumps. Everyone has the things they hate. Star jumps are mine. Here we go. 20 seconds on. Keep it up. Remember, if you're half, 10 seconds, if you're halfway through and you want to modify, Modify and come back to it when you can. Three, two, one, bring it up. Walking lunges. Whew. Pull your abs in. We're gonna start in three, two, shoulders soft. Here we go, big step, walking lunges. Try and pop up with that front leg, driving through the front heel. We've got five seconds, four, three, get one more lunge in there. Come on up. Star jumps, last round. And then I think we are halfway through the workout. So we've got four more stations to go. Starting now, go. So our last station is core. So that will all be work on the mat. Not that it's easy, but at least we get to sit down. Five seconds. Three, two, last one. Come on up. Walking lunges, last round. Slow your breath, smooth your breathing. Starting in three, two, one. Big step, explode up. Driving through your front heel. Watching when your front knee doesn't cave in. Woo! And that you don't fall over. Five seconds, four, three, two, last plunge. Yay, okay, done with that. Um, next up, we have a single leg glute bridge. If this is gonna be too much, you're just gonna do a regular glute bridge, okay? So heels come in under your knees, ankles under your knees, and lift up. Here's a glute bridge. Single leg, we're gonna put the left leg straight up, drive through the right heel, and lift. It's really gonna target your glutes, help you get the right form. It's gonna 
Um, engage more of the posterior chain, so it's going to work more of your back uh, and all the muscles along the back side of the body if you do the one leg version. Two leg is completely fine. Stick with that if you want. Um, and then we've got bear, which is right here, hovering knees to a plank. Bear to plank. Harder than it looks. We're going to start here in five seconds. Left leg lifted all the way down. Three, two, press through your right heel, lift and lower. If you need to lift your right toes so that you're really feeling it in your right heel, feel free to lift your right toes and then drive up through the right heel. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, come on up. Roll over to a plank and this can um, be done on knees too. You can just stay right here, okay? Otherwise you're in a plank, you're stepping forward to a knee hover. It's like tabletop with a knee hover. And then step back, forward, back. Keep your back long, gaze is down. Don't let your butt lift. You want your knees to hover like an inch above the floor. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Come on down. We're gonna do um, glute bridge on the left side now. So you're gonna roll all the way down and you're going to push through your left heel right here. Right leg is lifted. Remember, if this is too much, your right leg is down. It also doesn't have to be lifted as high, or you can bend your right knee if that makes this more accessible. Five seconds, four, three, two, drive through your heel, press up strong, one. Come on down. All right, back to the bear to a plank, starting in two, one, here we go. You can bring your knees down if it's too much for the hover, okay? Otherwise, you're right here. Woo, feel the difference. And I keep stepping forward first with my right foot. I'm gonna change up and go left foot first, just to keep things even. Five seconds, three, two, one. Roll over, we're back to the right leg, lifting. Sorry, right leg pressing down, left leg lifting. We're gonna start in two, one, drive through your right heel, press your hips straight up, nice and strong. Press down into the backs of your triceps as you lift up. Really lift the hips high. Woo, five seconds, four, three, one more, lift here, two, one, roll it over. Step forward and back. I'm gonna lead with my right foot, come to a plank. Three, two, one, here. Ten seconds. Pull your abs in here. Belly button to spine. Last three, two, one, roll over. Driving through the left heel. Right leg lifted. Starting in two, one, go. Pressing up strong through your left heel, tucking your tailbone under, pressing your hips up strong at the top. Press up and out through your right heel also. So flexing your right toes back towards you. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, bring it down. Woo! I'm gonna lead with my left foot this time. Stepping forward and back. Three, two, last set here. Step and bring it back. Low back is nice and firm here. Pressing them out away with your hands so that you're pressing up and out of your shoulders. Last five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Oh my gosh, good job you guys. We have three more sets of stuff to do here. The first one is gonna be a little bit fancy. If it's too fancy, you're just doing a reverse lunge. If you have weights, you can have weights, or you don't have to. I'm gonna show you the full version first. You decide where you wanna be. Arms are lifted, big step back, and twist over the bent front leg. Exhaling as you twist. You can be right here. You don't have to have the arms up. You can be without weight. You don't have to add the twist. You could just do a reverse lunge right here, no weight. Any option there. Um, and then 
Um, the next one is also kind of strength. It's more of a static hold. So that's how I justified it. Plus our next round of stuff is hard. So two strength ones here. Enjoy them while they last. Warrior three. Kind of bring your right foot to the kickstand. Hinge at the hips. Here's warrior three. Kind of, there we go. Elbows pulled up. And we're gonna kick it back, tricep kickbacks. You don't have weights, I promise you. You'll still feel this in your triceps as long as you flex and push up and out through your pinkies, okay? And keep your shoulders down away from your ears. So you don't have to have weights for this. I stopped the timer because I talked too much. We're gonna grab the weights, put them overhead. In five seconds, we're gonna start. Big step back with the left foot. Two, one, big step back, twist over your right leg. Right foot steps, twist over your left, exhale. Big step back, twist. It's important that you tighten your core on this to be able to feel it. Five seconds, four, three, two. Let's get one more lunge. Okay, come on up. Warrior three with the tricep kickback, so hold onto your soup hands or your weights. We're gonna start on the left leg, tip at the hips, press out through your right heel, gaze is down, tuck your chin, Kick it back. If you need to, your right foot is touching a wall here. Okay? Shoulders pull down away from your ears, driving through the right pinkies. If you don't want to be up here, your right foot is down. Just as a kickstand, just on the toes. Come on up. Just on the toes. Okay? And if you need a little bit somewhere in between, your foot is going to be on the back wall. Starting in two, one big step back, right foot. Exhale, twist over your left knee. Exhale, twist over your right knee. So we're switching side to side here. Same rules apply. That front knee does not go forward of the ankle. And all of your weight, five seconds, is in the front field. Two, one, come on up. Warrior three on the right side. Shift your weight to your right foot. Shoulders down. Back foot here. Tip. You can stay here. Go when you're ready. You can have your left foot on a wall. You can have your left toes down. Pressing out through your left heel. Sitting back into your right heel. Five seconds, shoulders down. Press your elbows up. Two, one. Good, come on up. You should feel that in the standing leg glute. All right, bring your weights overhead. We're gonna start in three, two, big step back, left foot. Exhale, twist over the right. If this is too slow for you, and you want a little bit more cardio in this round, you can skip the weights here and just speed up your reverse lunges. Just make sure your form stays where you need it to be. These can also be jump lunges. Three, two, one, bring it down. It's like a half guy at the end, I don't know what that was. Back to your left leg, hinge at the hips, starting in three, two, elbows high, shoulders down. Kick it back, go. You can also have both feet down here, bend at the knees, and just do tricep kickbacks. It's up to you. This adds core, back side of the body. Five seconds. Woo! Come on up. That was ugly. That's okay. Fall out of it, come back into it, just like yoga. Weights above the head, big step back, left foot. Twist over your right. Two, one, other side. What is happening? So clearly, these are good for coordination and balance. And anything that challenges your balance is challenging your core, which is what we're after. Three, two, one, bring it up. Last thing in this round, right side, warrior three, tricep kickback. Two, one, go. Tuck your chin. Lift up through your left inner thigh, spin your left toes down towards the floor. Shoulders stay down away from the ears. Elbows stay high. Kick up with the pinkies. Five seconds. Every time I look at the clock, I lose my balance. Three, two, one. You guys, two more things and we're out of here. All right, um, we don't need weights for anything else or soup cans. Feel free to put those away. This is our lightning round. Otherwise known as the Vicky round. Vicky loves this round. We're doing burpees. That's all I have to say. We're doing burpees. 
Um, and I'm sorry. I do you want to say that I'm sorry? Eight rounds of burpees, 20 seconds each. Do the math, it's actually not that many. Kind of. So we are going to come down here, here, and up. If you want, you're hopping it back, you're adding a push up, you're coming here and you're jumping. If you want way less than that, squatting down, stepping, drive through your heels to stand up. Anywhere in between, any combination of those throughout this whole set. You can start off strong with jumps and push ups and end with stepping. That's fine. We're going to start in three, two, any burpee you want, go. I'm going to start with just hopping back and hopping at the top. Mainly because I hate push ups almost as much as I hate star jumps. 10 seconds. See, we're already halfway through the first round. Five. One more. Jump up, come down. All right, take a break. 10 second rest. You can also compete with yourself. See if you can get more in in the next round. Three, two, one. Bring it down. I'm going to come all the way down and press up here. Do a hand lift. 10 seconds. Last five. See if you can get one more burpee in. Two, one. All right, you guys. One down, three to go. Okay, that's okay. We've got this. Two, one. Here we go. Burpee.
It almost looks like a tricep dip. It's not. You can go out and in. Out and in. If you need to, you're doing one at a time. But you can do both. Okay? 20 seconds. Second one, all the way down. Press into your little back. Flutter kick. We're going to start off with the seated ones in seven seconds. This is our last round. Three, two, one. Sit up nice and tall. Lean. Exhale, crunch. Shoulders stay down away from your ears. Watch yourself in a mirror. You want your back long, okay? Shoulders down. Seven seconds. Five, three, two, one. Bring it. Heels down. Roll all the way down. Hands can be under your butt for more support for your low back. Cement your low back down. Lengthen your legs out. Flutter. Go. If it feels more comfortable, you can lift your shoulders. That helps me press my low back down and it fires up your upper abs as well as the lower. This is really working the lower abs. Reach down and feel it. Curve your low back in. Last three seconds. Curve it down. Two, one. Bring it up. Abs is a lot about engaging your core and keeping it firm. So we want to make that mind-muscle connection. We're going to start in three, two, one. The thing with Tabata is it doesn't give me enough time to talk as much as I want to talk. Apparently I'm not getting any attention. I just need to blabber to you guys this whole time. 10 seconds. Exhale, pull in. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it all the way down. Curve your low back first. Curve it up, pop it up off the mat, and then roll it down. We're gonna start in two, one. Lengthen your legs, go. Shoulders are soft. How much of your back can you get to come in contact with the mat above your hips and from the bottom of your ribs down? Five seconds. Feel that difference? Three, two, one. Come on up. Halfway through the ab portion. <clears throat> Four more circuits and we're done. Two, one, go. Two more circuits of two exercises. A minute and 20 seconds. You're done with me in less than two minutes. 10 seconds. Last five, four, three. Get another crunch in there. Two, one, come on down. All right, you guys, guess what I'm gonna do during this last set? I'm gonna talk. We're gonna start in three, two, flutter kicks, lengthen your legs, press your low back down, go. So if this workout is too long for you, I get it, we're all home, and yet somehow I'm not any less busy than I was before. So, I know you have stuff to do. I've got a kid workout on my page, on the Y page also. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, come on up. It's like 20 minutes, and I was a sweaty mess, and I got to do it with my kids. Bonus, kid time, mom time, workout time for everyone. It's two, one, go, last set of these. So you can always hop to that. You can also do this one. See if your kids can do this stuff with you. You'd be surprised at what they can do. 10 seconds, or use this for your mommy time. Last five, four, three, two, get one more crunch. Ugh, come on down. I've also got yoga, just upper body, just lower body. You can combine them, you can do one at a time. Three, two, one, go. So if you want to hit the lower body after this to get a nice stretch for your quads, hamstrings, hips, do some yoga. There's also a ton of other yoga stuff and workout stuff on the Y web page. Last five seconds. Three, two, one. Ah. <laughs> We're done. Ah. Okay, I'm going to stretch alone and get that ugly look on my face that I was telling you guys about since you won't be watching me. Um, skip to yoga, do a stretch. Just don't skip your stretch right now. Um, so get something done. It doesn't have to be a whole yoga practice, but try and get your legs and arms stretched out. And um, I will be here next Friday, every Friday, bringing you a hit or a Tabata workout. If you have requests, please message me and let me know. I am open for suggestions. Thank you guys for being here. Rebecca Black's song, Happy Friday, play it. Dance to it, get it stuck in your head. Bye, you guys. Happy Friday.